Do you think that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is necessary? What would you do to restore fiscal responsibility, accountability, and transparency at banks and other financial institutions? I think it's necessary, and I think it's unfortunate that the current administration didn't appoint the person who helped create that proposed uh, system for control, um, didn't appoint them to head it up. I think it's a clear sign that, that if this administration doesn't have any interest in improving consumer protection at all, whether it's respect to banks or the military or any other uh, agency or organization within the federal government or private sector. Okay, Harry? These private bankers and the complex products like the derivatives and credit default swaps that they have created that no one can follow but them is why we are in such big trouble. They should be nationalized. These banks should not be run by casino bankers. They should be run by a competent CPA type people who don't play risks with people, investors, money. This whole system is in so corrupt, it's, there's, you just have to reformat the hard drive, nationalize the major banks, let the little ones go ahead and go on their way as long as they've got customers. But we ought to have a baseline that gets rid of all of that because it's so corrupt we can't even begin to follow it. That's, and they, we've allowed this thing to run amok. 80% of the trades now in the stock market occur with high-speed computers that make these trades in millions of a second. This is craziness. I like community banks and the um, little, the other, the ones, the um, federal credit unions. But I also like what Iceland did. And Iceland was caught in a really bad position years ago and has improved much more quickly its economy than the United States has with respect to the damage done by the, the big banks. Yeah, uh, by the banks in Iceland, yeah. yeah. How they did they do it? Them. They nationalized the banks and refused to pay more than the 10% or whatever it was that their federal guarantee was to uh, people who lost uh, money on it because of the bank's mismanagement. Mm. And, and the thing is, to make to put the people in charge of those banks, you would have to have that 28th Amendment, that democracy amendment, putting the majority of citizens in charge. That's the only way you would ever get the power to reclaim those banks okay. and the educational and health care systems and the Defense Department, the foreign policy. All of that would profoundly change if the majority of citizens were making decisions in this country. They are not. They okay. never have been. It's time we make that change. Okay.